I'm going to work on is this teacup template that comes in the coloring pack and I've just cut it out and painted it with this gold paint which is from Martha Stewart it's a metallic paint and I haven't uh, given it an even layer throughout because I wanted a distressed vintage look and I've done that on the other side as well and I just went ahead and used some watercolor pencils to color in the flower and I'm going to do the other one on camera with you right now I'm going to go in and then finish this um, flower with some pearlescent watercolors and I'm going to add a few gems and embellishments to this teacup and that's it it's a very simple project and lots of fun to do you could also um, since it is a printable you could uh, print out several of these and use them as favor boxes for a party so that's what it's going to look like or you can put a little gift inside so lots of different options you can print it on thick card uh, you can print it out and then if you want to stick it on some scrapbook card and have a pattern inside you can do that as well so again with a printable kit you have lots of options so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to show you um, how I use my pencil sometimes now this is a basic set um, of 12 watercolor pencils that I'm using and I'm just going in and laying down some pigment in this flower and I want it to be bright because I want it to pop against the gold so I am pushing down rather hard on this and then I'm adding in addition to the pink I'm adding an orange and when I blend this in it is going to give you this double shaded look so don't try and blend it in too much you do want the colors to remain separate as well and this will give you a very fun look for your flower there you go as simple as that I'm going to go in and make these ones yellow and then I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves do like a shading type thing and it looks like you know it's a lot of work but as you can see right now I'm doing it live on camera and it really is not Add a little bit of color like that. Now for the other ones that are left, these ones, I'm going to go in and add different, two different shades of blue. And these ones over here are just going to be red. And then we bring in the water brush and the magic cap. This antique gold look is so fun and then you have this watercolor uh, floral piece in the middle and it looks so pretty. Um, if you're having any vintage themed tea parties or spring garden parties, these would make such cute takeaway gifts. And since this is a printable bag and you can um, print several of the same design as long as you're not selling them or distributing them because I really want you to have fun um, with these printables and use them to add some creativity to your life that's the goal that's my goal so I'm going to take this now for uh, lessened watercolors and I'm again very loosely just going to add some interest to these flowers over here and 
not using very thick coats of paint just a little bit will go a long way you can use any pearlescent watercolors but i'm using the zig colors and i really like them and that is it that's all i want to do as far as color is concerned and now if you were a little more patient you would wait for this to dry which i'm sure you are but i'm not and i'm going to add some stickers to this so these are uh, adhesive gems and i think i want to add them just to the rim of my cup and then that's it i was thinking of maybe taking them around the holder over there but then i would have to do the other side as well since it would be pretty disbalanced and i think that would be a little too much so even i have my limits <laughs> so this is it it's done and um, it is not dry so i'm just going to use this doily to just blot off some of the paint and i'm just going to bring this up closer to the camera and show you the pearlescent sheen and all that is left now to do you could use double sided tape if you want to and that will most definitely be um a lot neater probably but i'm a messy crafter so i'm using glue and all you do is you fold this in and left you don't stick it totally on the edge it's not supposed to go totally on the edge so I'm just making sure that it's balanced on both sides and then hold it in place And then same thing with the other side I hope you can see this okay on camera I'm just going to show you all the joints and folds in a second so as you can see this is the inside this is how it looks on the teacup side and you have a very pretty little gift box <laughs> 